Welcome back to my Let's Play for Dark Cloud 2, and I suppose it's time to begin work on rebuilding this town. Uh, can't say I'm really looking forward to it, but hey, you gotta do it at some point. Though I don't think I have enough stuff for it right now. But we'll find out. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep listing clearing conditions, I don't really care. Jeez. I need ten of these, gosh darn it. Oh, okay. Not good enough. That's not good enough either. Iron lamps. I'm gonna need four of these. Well, as I knock them off the list, I guess I can cross them off. No, that's garbage. So is that. We're going to need four brick houses. I don't have enough sticky clay. Okay. Well, I know what to do now. I need to go visit the train. Gosh darn it. So I can go buy stuff on the back of it. I'm probably going to have to make several visits to the train or to buy stuff, to be honest. It's probably just really unavoidable. Hopefully we don't run out of money while trying to do this, but I can't make any guarantees on that. Okay, that's near the start of the train. We need to get all the way to the back. That's where our good friend hangs out with all our purchasable um, supplies for building stuff. So let's go inside and ask around for some sticky clay. There he is. Yeah, yeah I do. And collecting them's a pain in the butt, so I don't feel like it. Not to do for now. Seriously, getting enough items around here is always a pain in the butt. So it's the only good way to do it is basically run through areas over and over and over and over and over again. And I ain't got time to spend hours grinding like that usually. <sighs> Especially if I want to keep up with my current goal of reaching 5,000 videos by the time my 3,000, not my 3,000, my three year anniversary. Jeez. I don't think I'll be alive in 3,000 years, you know? That would be a trick. If I did that, I'd have to be a robot or something, man. I guess we're gonna need four of these. Probably better if I'd stop leaning back in my chair. Okay. Need more sturdy rock. Down by at least 11. Darn. Well, back to the train, I guess. Yeah, I know. Making stuff's boring, but it's a necessary evil, and really making everything I'm going to need all at once is probably my best bet. Just for saving time, though. So I'd argue I probably should have done the um, calculations on this before I started doing it. That way, you know, it save people watching me. I have to make multiple trips back and forth to a stinking train. But it'd also be um dishonest of me probably someone to do it that way too, since it shows I was um pre playing way, way ahead. Well, I need some sturdy rock. I'll take twenty of these. At some point, though, I'm going to have to find a way to make money. In large amounts, I can just buy a ton of um, geo items. 
I would assume there's some way to do that potentially in this game because if you've got so much item creation going on, there's sometimes an infinite loop in there. Developers are left in there and um on purpose or they just missed. I mean sometimes it happens. Like there's ways to make infinite money in a lot of games if you have the patience for it. I just hate how far you have to run here to get to the geo thing, man. Okay, one brick chimney for every house. Jeez, you think I'd be consistent in using just one cross off stick, but I'm not. Yeah, I can understand why people like the other one better. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need one iron gate. I think I had. Seven already, didn't I? Please, let's see. Do I have enough now? I have 13 iron fence. Which is all I should need, technically. Block two, block three. Damn, I'm getting a lot of sturdy rock. Like a hundred of them. Well, move back to the train. Yep. We got about half the stuff we're gonna need made at this point, I guess. So we are making some good progress, I guess, but still, it's going to take me almost ha half this episode probably to just build the items I need. <sighs> and then there's going to be the placement, and then I'm going to have to do the recruiting probably next episode. The, a lot of them are already here, but one of them I have to do um, some work for. i got to go recruit our dad. I'm sure there's a faster way to do this. I don't know that I'd do it. Okay. That got expensive. All that just to build a rock thing. Well, back to our target destination, yes. Okay. Who knew it'd take that long to buy some rocks? Damn. Eh, it's not as expensive as the rocks, though, um... Proc's dad wanted. Okay, we're gonna need... Four of these. Block threes. And then we're gonna need two of these. Okay. I don't know if that's made out of. It's made out of wood. Well, I need one for this area, but I'm not going to place it anytime soon. Okay, I need the windmill. We need one generator. That just leaves four great cranes and four power arms. Okay. That should be all the stuff now. Okay. Yeah, I don't lie. I use guides for this because honestly, it's a lot easier than doing it yourself. But I apparently took my page down for this. Okay. Well, first things first, we're gonna place these, I guess. Um, where do I wanna put these? together 
other as possible. Next, we're going to place the block two is on top of those. Darn it. Because these aren't perfectly straight. Clean up place parts. I uh, need those picked up and so place somewhere else flatter. these side by side man and these are still hanging up place I'll try it again is like very very precise like that maybe okay then we're gonna place a brick house on top of it and then we're gonna put a brick chimney on it I don't see how it really matters. And we gotta put a great crane and a power arm on there too. Um weird house design, I have to admit. Okay, we're gonna want to move Mario in the house, which is probably easier said than done because I gotta get on here. Well, I guess we can get up here for free. Um. Yep. Enter house, I guess. Man, he likes his house as weird and isolated, man. Can't, huh? Oh, I can buy ore from you? Ah, uh, nothing particularly interesting unless I want to buy gold bars. Huh. Pretty simple house, I have to admit. Second floor of workshop restored. Gotcha. <laughs> Gosh darn it. 
Okay. Okay. Well, I can't really place the windmill yet, because it, it would break. Place another brick house, let's get Okay, now I wanna place an iron gate. Okay. I always find placing these a pain in the butt. I probably mean I wish I had done a sharp return there. But let's see. Okay. How many of those I got left? That's for, um, our dad. Well. Oh, yeah, I guess we're supposed to put iron lamps and everything, too. What the... something else. Please. Um. Do I even have an item there? I can't see it. See an item. Oh, uh, whatever. Um, worry about that later. You think people will be more bothered by this setup? Sometimes this stuff just gets in your way, man. And the houses look ridiculous with all this junk on them anyway. Okay. Oh, 
Why can't I place these? Gosh darn it. Okay. Darn it. Why is this stuff always gotta be so hard to place, man? place the lamps. I don't get this. Come on. Imagine there would be. I don't know if I can get Eric to move in here. I still don't know why I can't place the freaking iron lamps though. pick the houses up to put the lamp on them.
completely impractical place for one, but we got a lamp on there. sensible places for everyone else, you know? Okay. Okay, let's then place some pots. I think it's just for culture points. So, just throw them wherever, I guess. Right? change in the future. Okay, let's go to the future then. Oh, there it is. It's time to go to the future. <sighs> yeah, I know. I haven't done this in a while, so I guess I'll let it play. But hopefully we got enough of this place up and running, we can, um, solve our current problem. Interesting place, I suppose. Of course the question is, where on earth are we gonna go here? And where are the rewards at? missed one. Okay, I'll take the witch's parfait. It's not actually an entrance point, darn it. Oh, I thought that'd be a good place to hide it, because it's you know, out of the way, technically. That's not really a door I can go through, though. stuff we can't do here yet, though. Where are these? Elevators? I have a weird elevator, ain't it? That's nice. Well, you know. Yeah, he really is a terrible monster now, ain't he? Okay, nothing much here. There aren't even that many um, items unlocked yet, apparently. This way, we'll eventually head back to where we were. Oh, I almost missed one. I have to wonder how many of these I actually bypass, considering they all keep hanging out near walls and stuff. Okay, 
Okay, I'll try a lower floor. But I don't know where I'd be um, really looking for the, um, the item I need, though. We got fruit of Eden out of this. Um, but damn, where'd we go? Huh. Yeah, I imagine it would get pretty dangerous. This is a workshop, after all. Best guess would be on the third floor somewhere. Though it might be on the second floor. Well, I'll keep looking and see if I can find it. Oh, come on. There's gotta be someone here that can help me with my problem. Does this place have to be so freaking big? What purpose does this place really serve that cars have to be this freaking huge? It seems less like a workshop, more like some sort of giant fortress. those power arms and stuff got a heck of a lot bigger. Okay, anything on this side? Besides an elevator. Man, I hate this place. It's just needlessly big, man. I know they want to make this area look huge, but did it have to be this huge? I know most of the other feature areas have been pretty small, but... You know, I can deal with small, because it's much easier to navigate them when you're looking for stuff. Convenience does matter to a certain extent, you know? If you make it hard for the player to find something, they're likely to give up and move on with their day. Look, it's sick of looking. And I can't use the Chirama when I'm in the future, so I can't quick move between points. Okay. I'll try over here still. have to take those um, circle things somewhere. See if it can take us down lower, I guess. And whoever designed this was crazy. So this has to be one of the most inconveniently designed places I've ever run across. There's like no doors anywhere. How do you get into this building? I guess you don't. Unless you're invited, I guess. Okay. Man, I'm tired of looking for items already. It's giving me a headache. Okay, back down to the first floor. Just give one of these a try. Okay. So you use those to jump the 
locations, but not necessarily where I need to go. Gosh darn it. I'll take us back to the past. There's gotta be something else here. Every time we need to solve a problem in the past, we need to come to the future get that solution, but how do I get where I need to go right now? And seriously, who made this area this big? Because I hate you with a passion right now, man. I know I can't really channel it in my voice, but I'm annoyed. Ugh. Okay. Basically, back where we were. Seriously, I haven't seen like an entrance or anything in this place. It's just a bunch of freaking doors that don't lead to anything. And no one you talk to has anything useful. Terrible, I right? But can you guys help me? I need to talk to someone important around here. Or have I not restored enough of the f the past yet? I'm sorry. Point for this point. <sighs> I could believe it. Maybe we gotta go get Jared recruited. Because <sighs> I don't think I can set up Eric, like I said. We'd have to set the windmill, and it's apparently made out of wood, which I assume would set this place off. And well, I could always build another windmill if that's the case. I'd rather not, you know, because that's annoying. <sighs> Crap. I'll go talk to Jared. this 80% complete. Yeah. Whatever. Move. I guess we'll come back and find out if it's still there. I go over to the nice part of town. Cross the bridge. Okay. At least I know where our house is at. Yeah, I know. There's still characters I can recruit for a couple other places too, but I just haven't bothered with it. Mostly because I don't care to recruit unless I have to. Of course, the hard part's gonna be figuring out which part of the mansion our own dad's probably in at this point. But I'll check. Okay. Time now. Of course, no one in this game seems to sleep anyway. Beds exist, no one sleeps in them. 
Okay. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. I might have a bell trigger on hand, maybe. I doubt it. Oh, I do. Okay. Well, we got him back. So when the windmill has been destroyed, we should be able to finish most of this stuff for um the that one place, and hopefully we can get the bomb we need now to blow up that machine on the mountain. Uh. Okay, move it. Is the windmill still there? It might be too durable to burn down. Yeah, I don't care about that right now. I got something else to do. Move people in. Yes. That's as much as we can do right now. Fire squall destroyed. One hundred culture points, huh? Eh. Stare black, huh? Turn this place to even use the head. I have to get stairs. Going up a block three. Or is it on multiple block twos? Please. this anywhere. Is any closer, can I? Um. Probably other things I can do. Culture. Culture points 98, huh? Can't make one, huh?
Well, no. Gosh darn it. Everything we can really place in this at this point in this town, and clear all our goals at this point that are achievable. <sighs> Please don't let me us at the gate. So this is the great workshop. Yes, Gundorado workshop. The name is taken from Mount Gundor and the village below it, Heimrata. Pasnos, the mobile stronghold of our rebel army, was once built here. Wow, that's something. Let's go to the second floor. Yeah, okay. Um, teleport quickly. So it takes me close to an elevator. Uh, that's a little bit of a run. But she wants to go to the second floor, she wants to go to the second floor. <sighs> I'm gonna make this quick though. Shop was erased. We're in the middle of trying to bring it back. Ah, so that's what happened, is it? Everything changed so suddenly, I had no idea what was going on. So do you think you'll be able to restore the workshop? Well, there's a problem. They're trying to put a stop to our building by raining embers down on Heimrata. Raining embers? That's probably the fire squall. The fire squall? Yes. In the beginning, they tried to destroy the workshop directly using that device. The workshop itself? The fire squall is a terrifying device that takes energy from the volcano and turns it into a boiling hot rain that burns up man-made things. We were able to protect the workshop by destroying the device in the volcano's crater. I guess their scheme failed. So they decided to set up the fire squall in the past and prevent the workshop from ever existing. Yeah, I guess that's what happened. So we have to take out the fire squall in the past as well, right? That's right. I think the device is probably near the crater at the top of the volcano. Use this. A time bomb? It to blow up the fire squall. Make sure they don't find it before it goes off. Okay, I got you. Thanks, Garrick. See you. Good luck. Well, I'm gonna stop here for now. Next time, we can go place the time bomb on top of the mountain. Until then, see ya.